All right, so I'm doing a bunch of videos over the next few days, uh, all related to the brand new Profi OS 7 stuff um, related to sound. So all the previous OS's um, styles and sounds have been separate. So you have a font in your preset, and that font plays no matter what animations are going on. Now, uh, over time, we've you know come up with like wave length and wave number. Um, and some other functions to try to time effects and have animations work based on the sound. But it was always trying to match the style to the sound and have them sync up, even though they were running separately from each other. Well, the big change coming to OS 7 now is styles can actually interact with the sounds. Um, so there's a, a bunch of new sound capabilities. Um, they are going to require additional new sounds in fonts and also changing how some of the fonts are built depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and that'll be in all the documentation. But now the styles themselves, the style code, can actually interact with the sounds so we can do uh, tons of different things. So all of the animation capabilities that we've come up with, so all the dual phase, multi phase, the interactive uh, controls, um, you know, uh, crazy animations, they've always just been running and then the sounds just do their thing separate. Well now we're able to create synergy between the two right from the style code. So all of these uh, sound things that I'm going to show in the next few videos, they're all controlled from the style code itself, which means that we can actually set it up in the style when the sounds change, when the sounds trigger, what sounds are triggered, um, and a bunch of other new capabilities so that all your visual effects and all of your audio effects are always in sync with each other. Um, and it opens the door to thousands of new possibilities with styles and sounds to make it even more realistic. So um, this is just one example. So this is, uh, I've actually had the, the freeze blade, ice blade for a while. Um, and uh, we had a sound, we used to have it so it was a force effect with a super long sound. And then we timed the animation for the freeze and then the animation for the melt um, around how long that file played. Um, and you had to have it timed exactly perfectly. Well, in OS 6, we introduced the ability to do the interactive ice blade, where the blade would freeze and it would stay frozen until you hit it, clashed it three times to break the ice. But the sounds no longer lined up. Well, now, using the interactive capabilities, plus the ability for the style code to actually work with the font, um, we can now do this. So right now you'll hear a fire blade. But now when I do my ice blade, and this one's triggered by force effect. It actually changes, there's a freezing sound, but it actually changes the font. Um, and this is something new called alt font. And it's, uh, it, what it is is the, actually within the font itself, it actually has alternate versions of itself in there. And the style code tells the font when to change. Um, and now, if I hit my saber, if I clash it three times, I'm actually going to break the ice, and it's going to not only revert the visual effect, but it's going to revert the alt font effect. So you'll see, now my saber's starting to get yellow at the tip because this sucker's been on a long time, my batteries are getting low, it's supposed to be a white blade. But now, I've broken the ice, and my sound returned to the fire blade. Um, and there was also an alt, another sound of the ice melting, which I was talking over. Um, and we can add, that's the other part of this, is in addition to changing the font style sounds, and the way the alt font works is you can actually change a couple sounds or all the sounds of the font. So this one, the hum, the swing, the in, the out, they're all controlled based on which version of the style is running. So when the fire blade is running, we've got a fire sound, we've got fire swing, got fire attraction and we've got a fire ignition all right but now when I freeze the blade obviously the hum is now a sound that's supposed to be ice now I didn't have a perfect ice font so bear with me um, the swing is different and then the in and the out are different and we can change all of the sounds or some of the sounds. So it depends on what you want to accomplish. Um, but now you can actually set up your fonts to work with your styles and have the sounds and the visual effects all line up with each other. And they can be controlled in any number of ways we want. So any way you can control your style effects, 
you can now also control your sounds. Um, this has the melt effect in there. So now we get the fire blade back. So this is just one use. There's so many uses. I'm doing a ton of different videos on all different ways this is going to come into play. But Prop EOS 7, the ability to hook to actually let style code and fonts work with each other and have the style code tell the font what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, um, is going to take what we're able to do with Profi to a, a completely new strategy. Um, so I'm super psyched. Keep an eye out for all the videos. I'm trying to make as many as I can, um, but it's going to take me several days because on top of setting up all the new style code, I'm also testing features and I'm also having to build some of these new fonts to work this way. Um, and that will all be in the documentation. And all of this is optional. I know there's people who just love the old way of doing stuff. You can keep doing that. Um, this is new features um, for anybody who wants them. And the other thing is because it's controlled by the style code, you can have some presets to do all these crazy visual and audio effects. And then you can have the next preset just be a straightforward normal font with a straightforward normal style all on your saber so you can go back and forth from having just your basic canon lightsaber with all your basic canon effects to having the craziest visual and audio effects possible on the saber um, all within your blade just by changing that preset so tons more stuff coming keep an eye out for it and uh, i know you guys are going to enjoy this one